Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about one more class of this phylum Arthropoda and the class is Arachnida. In this uh, or, or in this category of uh, arthropods, the body is divisible into or divided into cephalothorax and abdomen. Cephalothorax is the head and the thorax part combined. So this is uh, again one uh, characteristic feature of arachnids. Cephalothorax that means this region has four pairs of walking legs and these legs are jointed. Jointed appendage is anyways characteristic feature of the phylum arthropoda and the classification is based on the excretory structures as well as the number of legs that they have. So they have four pairs of walking legs. They are present in the cephalothoracic region. One pair of Chelicerae. These structures they help in capturing of food and one pair of pedipalps and these pedipalps they perform two functions. They help in capturing of food and also in reproduction. So in the thoracic or in the cephalothoracic region, walking legs are also there. These chelicerae are present towards the anterior side for capturing of food and on the anterior side itself, the pedipalps are there. Now for excretion, they have malpighian tubules. A special type of structure or gland which is called coxal gland. So these are the structures which help in excretion. Now for respiration, the main respiratory structure or system is the tracheary system. So they have tracheal system and there are Again, a special structure which are known as book lungs. So, for excretion also there is a special structure which is called coxal gland and for respiration uh, also there is a special structure that is book lung. So, these are some special things which are present in the members of arachnida. And here we take two examples. One is of spiders and scorpions. The basic characteristic of both these examples are similar with some additional things. In case of spiders, they spin webs and these webs or this, uh, the slimy structure which actually forms the web is released from glands which are known as spinnerets. So from the spinnerets which are present in the abdominal region, the web, those thread like structures are released which are used to make the web so that the prey gets entangled in the web and then the spiders feed on it. This is one special thing about spiders and one more thing that they do not have antennae. So no antenna in case of spiders, otherwise four pairs of walking legs chelicerae, spinnerets or, and these pedipalps. These structures are common for excretion, malpighian uh, tubules and coxal glands. And these book lungs, they are exclusively found in scorpions, not in spiders. So in case of scorpions, again, body has cephalothorax and abdomen, but here the thoracic part is like this where the segments are there and then the abdominal part is also there. This is known as the anterior part of the abdomen. The posterior part of the abdomen has 
segments and it is very very thin and at the end of this long abdomen there is this poisonous stinging structure. So they bend their posterior part of the abdomen to sting. So this is special uh, thing about scorpions. One more thing is that the female eats the male after copulation and the female also carries the eggs. So after laying the eggs, the eggs are carried by the female. So female takes care of the eggs and the female would eat the male after copulation is done and this poisonous stinging structure which is towards the end. Otherwise the same uh, features are there and for respiration they have book lungs. This is arachnida. Now there is only one class which is left that we will take up next. The last class in this phylum is Neurostomata. And there is one very interesting example of this. It is Limulus, which is also known as king crab or it is also known as horse shoe crab. Now the reason why it is known as horse shoe crab is the shape of the carapace that it has. But before that, in case of Neurostomata, that is in case of uh, Limulus, the body is divisible into cephalothorax and abdomen. And this cephalothorax is covered with horseshoe shaped carapace. Covered with this piece which is there, sorry it is carapace, which covers this cephalothorax is horseshoe shape and that is why the name which is given to this uh, animal. In the cephalothorax region only there are five pairs of walking legs and there is one pair of Chelicerae. Chelicerae again would help in capturing of food. This is similar to what arachnids have. And in case of Limulus, for respiration, they have book gills. In arachnids, the structure is called book lungs. Here the structure is known as book gill. And for excretion, they also have coxal glands. So these are some special things about this uh, animal in Limulus or the members which are placed in Merostomata. And the abdomen part has a narrow structure which is known as the tail sun. So in the abdominal part there is a narrow structure which is seen that is known as the tail sun. So cephalothorax and abdomen, five pairs of walking legs plus the chelicerae are also there which would help in capturing of food. The name to this limulus is given on the basis of that horseshoe shaped carapace that it has and that carapace covers the cephalothorax. And from that horseshoe shaped carapace only a narrow tail like abdominal part is seen. So this is uh, the last class of phylum arthropoda. So now we are done with arthropoda. From the next video we will start with the next phylum.